What is going on guys? This is again Shrix from SmartHerd. Welcome to 25th Ruby tutorial. In this tutorial, I will show you the codes of block without parameters and also with parameters. All these things we have discussed in the slides in the previous tutorial guys. Now let's begin our coding. Let us define a method named call underscore block. You can name it up to you, whatever. Let us use a statement put as start of method. Now let us use the yield statement, sorry yield statement to call the block. Then after that let's use another statement put as end of the method. Right? Then after that let us initialize our block for on which our tutorial is based. Now let's use one statement put us inside the block. I will explain you guys after execution of the program. Don't worry about it. Now let's save it and execute it. Now here comes our output start of method inside the block then end of method. Now what we are doing here when we execute our program then when call underscore block is executed first then it is going to call this method call underscore block. So within this method first this statement is executed put as start of method so we are getting the output like the start of method then after this when yield statement is executed then this yield statement is going to execute the codes within the curly braces of the block that is inside the block so here we go inside the block now after this put as end of the method is executed and printed in this way guys we are getting the output finally program ends now let us see the codes of the block with parameters with parameters right now let's pass to parameters let's say first a string hello then 99 is an integer now when we passing these parameters then there should be some variables inside the block to catch these values so let's use our syntax by using double sticks these double sticks are actually the two bars which is found below the backspace then let's see str catches the value hello then num catches the value of integer 99 now put us inside the block let's print it by str space let's give a space then convert the num to a string to underscore s let's save it and execute it yeah here we go start of the method then yield hello 99 then this code is executed put us inside the block hello space 99 then after that end of the method now why we are using this plus sign here this plus sign is used actually to join two strings inside the block is a string which is which is getting joined by this string str hello then after that space is a string then space is again joining the string str now after that num is an integer what the heck so we have to first convert this integer to a string by using two underscore s so finally we are getting the string like this inside the block hello space 99 so this was all for this tutorial guys in the next tutorial i will show you the codes of and block and its concept so please subscribe to my channel and stay tuned thank you